Gary was a very gentle soul. He was a hero. He was my hero. He was a great family man. Sounds corny, but no, he really was a hero and he was a really good man. He was very brave. He had a face for everyone else and really him and I were the only two that knew exactly what was happening. The GP recommended that the hospice nurse Leanne came out to see us, which she did. Uh, Gary hadn't really informed me of that, so it was quite a surprise when Leanne arrived. But Leanne went into great depth and explained the hospice was not somewhere you went to die, as I had perceived and was very, very emotional about. So uh, it was arranged for Gary to go in and have his medication sorted, which he did, and he was in for a week and then back out. So he was in and at, in all three times, in and out of the hospice. He also went to the hospice day centre, and he made great friends through the hospice, people who were suffering exactly the same as him. When the final days came, we weren't as afraid as what we thought we were going to be. Leanne, the hospice nurse, arrived on the 22nd and she assessed Gary and she phoned the hospice and at that stage there wasn't a bed, but they were doing all they could to get one. So Leanne didn't, the hospice nurse didn't want him going over the holidays without a proper hospital bed. So she had arranged for that to be delivered that evening, which it was, put up and that evening Gary was in the bed and uh, we had then hospice calling then throughout the Christmas period over the next few days. Um, and then he died on December 27th this year. Gary had decided that he would like to die in the hospice, but as it turned out, there really there wasn't time at the end, you know, and he did die at home. But with the hospice nurses, they were here and everyone was here, you know, so it was very, very dignified. I would not be sitting here 10 months later if it wasn't for the hospice. I go uh, once a fortnight for counselling. Um, they have been so good to me, you know, even bringing me down for massages and just to chat and, you know, have kept in touch with me in all ways. They've been there for me 100%. When Gary died, that wasn't the end of me.